does it, so I just confess that I text and drive. <laughs> if I get a text, I look at my phone. It's definitely texting. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. I do Snapchat and drive sometimes. Is that like making Snapchats or watching them? What making them? A texting is like my main form of communication. Boredom, honestly. <laughs> and B, well, no, nah, I guess no. It's really just A. <laughs> I've only never done it at stoplights. I've always been really good about it. The passenger has a pretty important role driving now where they're like, oh, red light, red light. If someone that you like texts you, you're like, you can't just like let it sit there without just knowing what they said. Because what if something exciting's happening or something happened? Like every time I do it, I kind of, I think about it. I'm like, why am I doing this? And then I just keep doing it. So I'd like to, like, want to introduce you to a friend of ours. My name's JC. Hi, Alexis. Hi, Dash. Justin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I just really quickly want to have a chat, tell you what happened to me. When I was 21 years old, driving home from my college graduation ceremony. Driver on his phone was so distracted, he turned left into the intersection at a red light. Another car, an 18-wheeler, swerved to miss him and hit my family's car. And the resulting collision actually killed both of my parents. I spent two months in the hospital fighting for my own life, and then two more months in a rehab hospital, learning how to walk again, learning how to speak again, learning how to dress myself and how to feed myself. I live with a partially paralyzed body. I didn't have my daddy to walk me down the aisle when I got married. Having sort of like met JC, because you look at JC and sort of give those same reasons. Oh. Usually I use my phone to change a, a song on. I try, I try to use it as little as possible, but. I'm not going to look at my phone ever again. Honestly, if I have been sitting at a red light, and I'll like glance down to see if my mom's texting me, but the people's lives that are impacted from something that is so stupid. I can assure you on my drive home right now, I'm not going to use my phone and drive and I'm not going to do it when I go to work tomorrow and the next day after that until, you know, it becomes a habit and that just doesn't happen at all. I know this is hard. I'm sorry. It's hard for me too, but you know this is real. You have the power to really actually make a difference and do something about it.